Hey, Mark. Um, Coach talked about the uh, importance of, of raising the expectations of Mississippi State to compete for championships. As a player, I'm sure you want to hear that. You know, you love to hear that. But has that been something that has been felt? Do you guys, you know, all understand that now is the time with kind of the talent you have and maybe a new attitude? Um, yes, sir. We all understand that uh, it's time to raise up to an expectation that's really great from us and a high expectation. And we all have bought in and we continue to take step by step every day. Go down here on the front row all the way to the left. How at all does it affect you playing in the secondary, knowing that you have two of the absolute best pass rushers in college football on the defensive line? Um, it's very great knowing that uh, those two guys are very, they are very hardworking guys. And we knowing that Jeffrey Simmons, he can get to the quarterback anytime. And Montez Sweat is very, very gifted in pass rushing. And it, it helps us on the back end that we know if anything's come down, we know they can get there and we can make plays on the back end. Go down here on the front row all the way to the right. Last year's defensive system, the safeties were so aggressive, playing up in the box, blitzing a lot. What's the biggest difference between last year and this year for you? Um, There's really no difference. Um, with Coach Shub, they both are very uh, aggressive and smart guys. And he's, he's allowed to let me do the same thing. So we're just expecting great things. Go over here standing on the back right. Uh, Mark, just with the Two-part question here. What was it like last year watching Nick go down in the Egg Bowl game? Like, what was your first thought? And then secondly, just this offseason, as he's gotten back into the mix, what's the biggest improvement that you've seen in him as a passer? Um, with him going down in the Egg Bowl, it really was heartbreaking to see him go down that way. But we knew we had to uplift the team and keep playing. And we knew we told him we had his back, and we're not going to let him down. And as far as him coming back, he's been really uh, – He's really come back really strong. He's a hardworking guy. He's come back he's smarter, knowing a lot more, throwing. He's really accelerating to a high level. Get down here in the front row, far right. You and Jonathan Abram, two of the top safeties in the league and a great duo. How do you guys play off of each other? Um, we just feed off each other every day. We push each other to different heights. We never, we never uh, stay at one level. We always watching film, always bound to build our game every day. What he can't do, I do, and what I can't do, he do. We just continue to hold each other accountable. We'll go camera position, back left. Mark, what's the biggest difference that you've noticed just coaching style-wise from Mullen to Moorhead? Um, they both are very smart guys and very, very humble. And they both are very, like I said, they smart and they both know a lot about the game. So we're just excited to see what's going to happen this season. Anyone has questions for Mark, raise your hand and we'll get a microphone to you. We'll go over here on the back row, on the aisle. Mark, Coach Moorhead really appears to know his stuff. I mean, he, does he kind of come across almost as a, like a college professor or something, the way he carries himself? Uh, he's very smart. Um, it, it, the way he game, the way he plays and practice so far that we've seen, it's, it's really amazing. Like he's very, he's a very smart coach, and we're very excited to see what's going on this season. We'll go in the camera position, right there in the middle. Just what are the biggest challenges when you have a new coaching staff come in after you played for the same coach for a number of years? Um, it just, you got to come in and adapt to their system and see what they like and what they don't like. And at the same time, we know they're going to see what we like and what we don't like. We all just come on to one accord and build on from there. Go standing over here on the left side. You know, Mark, what do you remember about that, if, if anything, from the A&M upset in uh, 2016 and what that day was like for you all? Um, that day, it was a very exciting day uh, building for us because we, we uh, our season wasn't going as good as we wanted to. But that day, we made a stand. And to get that win really helped us build our confidence and to keep playing throughout the season. You'll raise your hand. We'll get you a microphone for any other questions for Mark. Go right here on the aisle on the left side. What's it been like to uh, to work with Terrell Buckley, and what was it like last year to make the uh, the strides that you did going from two career picks to eight? Um, working with Coach Buck, he's uh, he's a father figure to me. He sit down, he always talking about the game of football, and not only about the game of football, but the game of life. And to be able to have that relationship relationship with him is really good. So I really cherish every moment with him because I know he's trying to help me get better every day. And to go from two to eight. It really was a humbling experience. Um, 
because my like you said with Jeffrey Simmons and Montez Sweat up front and my corners and the rest of my team, it was just it was really amazing. I was just making plays that they they put in front of me to help the team win the game. We'll go down here on the front row, all the way to the right. You and Jonathan have a lot of experience back there. The defense as a whole has a lot of experience, but the cornerback position is one where you might see some new faces from a year ago. What can you do to help make the corner's job easier? I can always put them in positions to uh, help win the game. Uh, if I see something, I can also let them know to help them because they also can help me when they know stuff and we can communicate every day and we just continue to strive every day to get better. We'll go down here on the front row, all the way to the right. You came in with Jamal Peters in, in that recruiting class, and he's you know he's moved all over the field. He's been at safety. He's, now he's at corner. Do you think this is a, a breakout year for him? Yes, sir. I really believe this is his year. He's going to do a tremendous job. He's always working hard. He's continued to work. He continued to grow every day on and off the field. And this year is really going to be his year.